standing in front of the memorial anger at the beginning of New Hong in the capital of Denmark, Copenhagen. We are students from uh, Nibus and Tarsum, and this is our film about New Hong. Right now, I'm walking down the south side of New Hong. Many famous stains have lived here in the different houses for many years, like Hans Christian Andersen. He's born in 1805 in Odense in Denmark. He has written many famous stories like The Little Mermaid. He has lived in four different houses here in New Hong. 67, 65, 20 and 18 as we stand in front of right now. And as you can see by the building, it's made very peaceful. The colored houses are made by bricks and wood. And now we are on the sun side of New Hong, the other side of the camera. And right behind the lake is a tool shop. He is, he is very famous. Sailors has come from countries all over the world to get the tools right here. And like he do, old school tools is very famous. The buildings are just so unique here in New Hong. Famous words to one have part number 21. He has always been served beers and has been filled with life for centuries. In old days when Nyhavn was a busy harbor with ships from all over the world sailing in and out, it was filled with sailor, sailors, bars and prostitutes. The harbor and was and still is specially known for its old, old school tattoos. Nyhavn was for many years um, the red light district of Copenhagen, but it isn't anymore. Now the harbor is known as, as the p place of joy and festivals. And there are often over 1,000 people at Nyhavn in summer. Nyhavn was constructed by Queen Christian V in the period 1671-73. The harbour was dug, by, dug out by Swedish war prisoners. King Christian V originally named the harbour Nyhavns Canal, on English uh, the New, New Harbour Canal, but now it's just called Nyhavn. The houses along the dock are over 300 years old, and a lot of them are today classy restaurants, cafes and bars. At the beginning of Nyhavn, close to Kongs Nytorv, King's, King's Square in English, lies the memory anchor. It's a moment place for over 1,070 Danish sailors and officers who, who sacrificed their lives for the Navy during the Second World War also offers canal tours. The canal tours are very popular and a lot of tourists try them. It's a great way to see Copenhagen from a different angle. Nyhavn has always been filled with famous Danes such as poets and writers who have found their inspiration from the Incansen harbor. The most sunshine uh, we have here, and it's warm, and there are loads of tourists out there, so it's always fun to be here. Yes. Um, what do you like about New Hong? Ah, the beer. The beer is always <laughs> good. Um, can you feel the peaceful atmosphere? Well, there's not so many people right now, so yes, it's fairly peaceful now. When there's a lot of people, it's usually somewhat more noisy. Yeah. Um, have you tried the canal tours? Oh, not in the last couple of years. I was I was on the canal tours when I was 12, 13 maybe, but I haven't been in many, many years. <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> but what do you think about them? Well, they used to be quite fun. Uh, I hear they're doing something with uh, with comedians now. Uh, so on selected tours, you can go on a tour with a comedian. who's introducing you to all the buildings. Uh, but they used to be pretty fun. Um, do you like the style of the houses? Yes, very much. I think it's it's perfect that they haven't changed it, that everything is still um, in the same condition as it was many hundred years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the UNESCO list is? Yes. Do you think New Hong will be on the UNESCO list? I thought it was, actually. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, it should be. I think so. Yes. It's uh, what our video is about. 
Well, it's a, I think it's a definite shoe in for the UNESCO list. It's a, it's a very rare piece of historic value, and I think it should be maintained just the way it is. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. And now we will tell three of the criteria from the UNESCO list that fits with Nihao. To exhibit an important interchange of a human values of over a span of time within a cultural area of the world, on developments in, a, in architecture of technology, monumental arts, arts of town planning or landscape design. To be an outstanding example of a traditional human settlement, land use or sea use, which is a representative of a culture or human interaction with the environment, especially when it had become vulnerable under the impact of irreversible change. To be directly or tangibly associated with events or living tradition, with ideas or with beliefs, with artistic and literary works of outstanding universal significance. The committee considers that this criterion should preferably be used in conjunction with other criteria. I hope you enjoyed the film and that you might have gotten an idea of what an amazing place and enchanting place New Holland truly is, despite of the weather. So thank you so much for watching and we hope that you, as we, think that it's a well-suited candidate for being at UNESCO's World Heritage List. Banga <laughs> in